Joining us now, Anthony Salvanto, Director of Elections and Surveys here at CBS News. Anthony, last night the president continued to criticize fellow Republicans. Why does he feel confident that his base will stay with him if he does that. Yeah, Anthony, if you take a look at the polling across the summer that we've done, you see that you can't paint all of his supporters with the same brush. He has the core base, about half of his total support inside those numbers, and they feel more attached to him than they do to the party. They vote Republican, but they consider themselves Trump supporters first and foremost. It's a really personal connection. They feel like he's fighting for their culture and their way of life. Well, they haven't been very much inclined to listen to what anything that the Republican Republican Party leaders have to say, if anything, they take any criticism of him personally on themselves, they say, and it's only made their support firmer. Interesting. He has faced pushback from Republican senators over Charlottesville and over his threat last night to shut down the government if he doesn't get funding for the wall. If this gets in the way of his legislative agenda, Will that affect his supporters? Well, here's where you look at the other half of his supporters, who we called uh, more conditional supporters. They want policy outcomes from this president. Now, they still back him, but they feel like he has to deliver in Congress with legislation. They want the tax cut, for example. And while most Republicans did approve of how he described the events in Charlottesville, it wasn't the same as the numbers he's gotten for things like handling the economy. So these folks are much more transactional, and the question will be, at what point might they run out of patience if he can't deliver on that policy agenda? Anthony Salvanto, thanks. Thank you.